Today's video is about seven simple secrets that you can use to add interest to your food photos. Hi, I'm Rachel Karnak, professional food photographer, helping you take incredible photos that are good enough to eat. And today's photos are going to be delicious. I'm going to start off with a bang by one of my favorite techniques. So this first secret is to use different shape glassware. So different shapes, heights, widths, just like I've done in this frosé shot here. It just creates more interest. If you actually pick up a magazine, you'll see that they do this all the time. And sometimes you don't notice because it's that simple, but it's so powerful. The second secret is to add drips to anything and everything that you can. So in this Black Forest trifle, let's just have a look at the before without drips. Mm, it's still yummy, but with drips, oh, it's mouthwatering. And just look at the difference. That small thing makes such a huge difference. The third secret, and I cannot tell you how important this is, is to use crumbs and mess in your photos. I've been coaching photographers for years and I often see this is missed. And if you're like, mm, this photo needs something, I can tell you it's going to be crumbs and mess. So let's look at this trifle shot again. So it's really beautiful. But what happens when we add crumbs to the foreground? It's just more interesting. In this Kiwi Pavlova, it is perfectly plated. It's gorgeous, but there's something missing and it's crumbs. They help create that final story. So when we scatter those crumbs and the meringue around the front, it's just more interesting. Secret four is to add movement or capture movement within your food story. That could be something as simple as capturing steam in a hot drink or capturing a flaming garnish. It could be as simple as drizzling honey over baked figs and brie. You could do a dusting of icing. You could do a sprinkling of cheese. You could even go down to the little details like bubbles in a drink or effervescence when you pour a drink. Secret number five is to have your subjects pointing different ways. Don't have everything pointing the same way because that literally takes our eye out of the frame. So in a blueberry tart, have your slices pointing in different directions. Or with still life shot, arrange your subjects like these apples so that the stems are pointing in different directions. So it moves our eye through the frame. Secret number six is to use proximity and stacking. So when you're using lots of subjects, have some far away, have some close, have some touching, have some stacking. It's going to make your photos feel more natural and organic. And inherently, that's going to make them more interesting. Secret number seven is to cut your ingredients and your subjects in interesting ways, like this bun cake here. This is such an interesting shot because of the way that we've cut it. Any fresh produce like this squash, think about how you can cut it differently. Or this watermelon salad, all of the ingredients there I've cut in different ways so that they represent different shapes. And these little things are going to make your photos more interesting. For more quick tips, check out other videos on my YouTube channel here or head to tolovestudio.com. And thank you so much for watching. Different sh shish, shish. Different, different shite. <laughs> Baked brie and fig thing. <laughs> we cut it in an interesting way, which makes it more interesting because we cut it in an interesting way. <laughs>